Hi. Okay. Well, my last video, I said that I would talk about a Disney movie. Because <laughs> I usually, usually I do the, um, the silent films. So, so this is kind of different for me. <laughs> Actually, I did the um, the pirate movie, uh, Blackbeard's Ghost, and uh, so this why not bust out a little bit? <laughs> so the movie that I mentioned was The Happiest Millionaire. Oh, I actually have. Oh, let's see if I can find it. No, that's not it. Oh, I know it's here. Oh, there it is. So... <laughs> I'm totally obsessed with this movie. Actually, I have um, a movie poster. It's <laughs> packed away. And I have... Okay, so to... When I found out that it was on VHS, like, they re-released it back in... I think 2000. I, <laughs> I bought the VHS, and I have the soundtrack on CD, and so this is, of course, the vinyl, and everything, but, um, and then, of course, the, <laughs> I have so much memorabilia for this movie. I absolutely love it. So, the cast for this movie, Fred McMurray, who, he did so many different, um, Disney films. He did The Absent-Minded Professor, Son of Flubber, which Son of Flubber is actually what, um, the Robin Williams Flubber is a remake of. Oh, that's going again. Um, I may have to move to another room. <laughs> or I may just turn it off. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn it off. Like I said in my last video, I don't know why it does that. Oh, it's really dark. I'll just go into another room. <laughs> I usually do these when I'm home by myself because my family doesn't want to be in my videos. I don't understand why. They're, <laughs> they don't want to be on the internet. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I was saying, Fred McMurray, um, the son of Flubber, so absent-minded professor and son of Flubber are actually um, sequel. So The Son of Flubber is a sequel to Absent-Minded Professor. I was watching Nostalgia Critic and <laughs> I've become hooked on his um, channel. Um, I, I absolutely love his channel because a lot of the stuff that he says I agree with. <laughs> and Because um, before I would... I heard about it and I was like, whatever, but yeah, um, <laughs> but in one of his, I think it was for Return of Jafar, and he was saying that the only other sequel was, um, for the Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. Now, I don't know if he was meaning for... Um, the animated films. If so, then he's totally right. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> um, with the movies that I was saying, uh, Saludos Amigos and Three Caballeros, it's kind of a sequel, but it's not like um The Return of Jafar. And I mean, it, it was more like they were extending. Um, but anyway, 
And then Fred McMurray was also in The Shaggy Dog, the original Shaggy Dog. And then there is a sequel to that one. It has Dean Jones in it. It was made a lot later. It's called The Shaggy DA. That's another one with Suzanne Plachette. I remember talking about her, uh, the movies that they did. So, because I thought that they only did the two movies. That's a third movie that they did together. And, um... Oh, what are some others that he did? I know that he... I will look up more that he did. But, yeah, he was a... I think he's a, a Disney legend. Because he did so many movies for Disney. Um, another one is Tommy Steele, and that's the butler. <laughs> he was actually, um, I think it's called Penny Arcade. I'll have to look that up. But he was, that's another one that he was in. It's not a Disney, but Walt Disney saw him and wanted him in this movie. Um, Greer Garson famous actress uh Geraldine Page Geraldine Page was married to Rip Torn and they actually had an estate called Torn Page <laughs> uh Gladys Cooper um I was trying to say her name you know she was Dom Gladys Cooper. She, famous stage actress and she was in film of course and she also did she was in a TV episode. I don't know for what, but she worked with um, Robert Redford. She did an episode of something. I, I want to say Twilight Zone, but I don't think that's right. Um, Hermione Baddeley. She did a couple other Disney films. In fact, I think she was in... Yeah, she was. She was in Mary Poppins, and she also played uh, one of the servants. She plays one of the servants in this one, too. Uh, Leslie Ann Warren. Uh, amazing actress. She was in the film Cinderella, which Brandy's version of Cinderella is a remake of Leslie Ann Warren's Cinderella. And uh, also, Leslie Ann Warren was in Clue, the the film. I love that movie so much. Oh, it's a great film. John Davidson, um, great singer. Unfortunately, what happened was they did another Disney movie. It's called The One and Only Genuine Original Family Band. Not as good. I have it. It's a cute movie. It's it's a political movie. <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun. I know a lot of people hear, well, it's politics. No, this one is, it's zany and fun and silly. It's a musical. <laughs> but uh, what happened was, Leslie Ann Warren and John Davidson made such a cute couple in this movie they made another movie specifically to put push them together. Hollywood tried to push them together as a couple. And it didn't work. <laughs> Eddie Hodges is in the movie. Um Paul Peterson. They those two don't show they show up in like one scene. They're not and Joyce Bullafont She was married to, oh, who was it? Oh, I'm blanking on his name. But he was in Hawaii Five-0. Actually, he was one of the brothers in Swiss Family Robinson. So, yeah, they were married. I, But... This was the last live action film that Walt Disney had a hand in. And there's him whoop, with the cast. I can even get this. 
So, yeah. There's them together. Yeah, this has all the pages and everything. <laughs> but this is actually based off of a play, off of a real person. Um, Anthony Drexel Bettle. And the the play is uh, I think the play is actually The Happiest Millionaire. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, um it actually this movie is 50 years old as of last year so 2016 it was 50 years old um so the biddle family <laughs> there's actually a famous picture of a man standing and it was like in world war one or something i think it was world war one and he has a bunch of guns pointed at it. He's an older man, and he has a bunch of guns. That's Anthony Biddle. This movie is based off of that particular gentleman. And so... The movie, like I said in my last video, the movie was really, really long, but they cut it when they released it. So, but when they showed it on TV, they showed the original version, the long extended version. So there's two different versions of it. And um, I believe I do have both versions. So the movie itself, <laughs> it is based on actual events and it is based off of a play, a Broadway play. Cordelia Biddle was a real person it was um her dad <laughs> so and her dad was anthony biddle who was an actual war hero he actually helped in world war one and everything so that's something to think of yeah <laughs> So the movie starts with Tommy Steele. He is looking, his character, John Lawless, is looking for work in Phil, uh, yeah, Philadelphia, because it takes place in two different places. So um, he's he starts out with the song uh, Fortuosity. The music is by the Sherman Brothers, the famous Sherman Brothers. <laughs> I used the song Fortuosity the last year that I taught the little kids. They loved the music. <laughs> and anyway, so he's going through the street and he's singing this song, Fortuosity, and he, so he's a, he's very Irish. And in fact, he is Irish. <laughs> Tommy Steele really is Irish. <laughs> so, um, he meets up. The first person he meets in the, and it's a big mansion. I mean, he's in high society, Philadelphia. These mansions. This is set in the Edwardian. I mean, I think it's 1916. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what year. But I believe it, it's either 19, yeah, it has to, it's in Edwardian times. So you get to see all these Edwardian fashion, the girls and everything. And the, but the first person he meets is Hermione Baddeley, who is the um, maid for, or the servant to the Biddles. And... At first, she's going to turn him away, but she is also from Ireland. So, <laughs> and they they strike up a conversation, and 
And then he meets Anthony Biddle. Anthony Biddle is... <laughs> it's He's just a character all on his own. <laughs> and um, his first song is just... Yeah. <laughs> you can't explain it. I would put this in, but again, it's... My record players in there but um and the cd is packed away so but anyway cordelia biddle who's played by leslie ann warren her grandmother who is played by gladys cooper is worried about her because she it's shown all over the papers that she is this this boxer well that's what Anthony Biddle does he is a boxing champion and he <laughs> and uh, he says she should be a lady not a boxing champion not a roughhouser so the grandmother pushes for her to go to a lady school. Well, the dad doesn't want any doesn't want that to happen. Well, it turns out that she does go to the school. And that's where she meets her friend who is played by Joyce Bullifant. And uh she learns how to flirt. <laughs> and she does it so bad. <laughs> She goes to this party that one of her um, relatives is hosting, and that's where she meets John Davidson's character. Well, she's <laughs> she is so awkward when trying to talk to to the boys there. <laughs> And, and John Davidson's character says he she even says, Why do you want to talk to me? I'm I'm just this awkward thing and he says, I know, but and he says He says, I know. That's why I want to talk to you. <laughs> You're not like other girls. <laughs> and and anyway, then you go through their engagement and it's just a cute movie. It's not like a regular chick flick. And that's what I love about it. I mean, the dad is so clueless. And John Lawless has to kind of direct him everywhere. The clash between the grandmother and John Davidson's character's mom, who's played by Geraldine Page... That scene is fantastic. It is so much fun. My brother, he sort of enjoys this movie even now. But he talks about that movie. He's like, because what it is, is it's a it's a total status thing. Because um, he's from New York. And then, of course, she's from Philadelphia. And so you see this entire, and it's a, it's a song called There Are Those. And <laughs> and poor John Lawless is stuck in the middle. There's a bar fight. Okay, let me tell you something about the bar fight. So the bar fight, you see this massive inspiration from um, Mary Poppins. And I think they were able to get some of the dancers that were in Step in Time to come into that because you see a lot of that i mean i the last time i watched the movie i was like oh okay i i get it <laughs> in fact i think let me see if i can so oh let's see if i can So there's what's the bar fight. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> well, not the bar fight. It's the song where they're singing about... Because 
they're they're singing in the bar fight and I mean in the bar and then all of a sudden a bar fight happens and um yeah and then there's another part where um towards the beginning of the movie where a lot of this the dancing and singing is just fun but <laughs> i think what's really funny about it is <laughs> the fact that he owns okay so anthony biddle owns alligators and throughout the entire thing <laughs> you you have problems with these alligators <laughs> cuz he he's talking about how he's he has these alligators how he caught them how he and <laughs> and and uh and at first John Lawless has a problem with it and then toward around the rest of the movie throughout the movie he's he's fine with being around the alligators and the wife is is like it's no big deal <laughs> he's owning alligators in Philadelphia and and uh but it is it's just a fun nothing like um any other it's not like a chick flick it really isn't cuz there's so much just goofiness going on and like i said it's based off of a play um that was i believe the play was written by i haven't been able to find much information on the play i've tried um i don't know how long it ran like i said i can't find very much information i don't even know if i mean walt disney was extremely interested in doing this movie i don't even know if he was able to get in touch with the family to do the play he was he tried to do stuff like that, you know, like, um, when he did the Winnie the Pooh, he contacted the family, um, the Milne family to see if it was okay. And, uh, the, uh, Daphne Milne handed over the rights when she was getting much older. And so, um, so anyway, um, so yeah, the movie is actually based off of real people and, um, it, it's kind of, for me, it's a little irritating that, you know, Anthony Biddle was an actual person in history, and this movie is completely overlooked. Yeah, it's a musical, yeah, it has its silliness, yeah, it has its... But, you know, what Disney movie doesn't? <laughs> I mean, from what I have seen of Anthony Biddle... I'm pretty sure Walt was doing his research well. <laughs> um, again, this was the last movie that live action movie that Walt had a hand in. Um, at the same time, the animated movie that he had a hand, the last one that he had a hand in was The Jungle Book. So before he died. Um, he really, wanted, unfortunately, he really wanted this to take off. He really did. He was, he put everything into this movie and it flopped. But what's funny, I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. But, you know, Newsies flopped and look where it's at. The Rocketeer flopped look where it's at. I mean, you can see it everywhere in like the cosplay and all that. And um Fantasia almost made 
it bankrupt, made the studio bankrupt before it was released, and then after it was released, it almost made it bankrupt. Peter Pan, I believe, almost made the studio... Yeah, it flopped as well. I mean, there. I mean, if you go down the list of how many, and again, Black Cauldron flopped, <laughs> but it has a new fan base now, and so you can't really go on the fact that oh yeah, it flopped in the box office because <laughs> that's not really an excuse as to why it was overlooked. So, but anyway, it, it's just. So, but yeah, this is, um, this is the movie that I was talking about in that last, um, video that I made. Um, Fred McMurray, I, like I said, I don't know if he is a Disney legend. I'm pretty sure he is because he was in so many different, um, like I said, Shaggy Dog, um, Absent Mind Professor and uh, Son of Flubber. And then this one, that's four right there. But it seems like he was in a lot more. I will look that up and then, of course, put it, you know where to look. <laughs> Tommy Steele, Greer Garson, Geraldine Page, Gladys Cooper, um, and Hermione uh, Baddeley, which I. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, she was also in uh, Mary Poppins. She was the one that was trying to stop Katie Nana from leaving. You know, I, I always remember her saying, no, no, Katie Nana, don't leave. <laughs> At the very beginning, yeah, she was the one. Because there was Cook and then there was the other gal. <laughs> also, when the... Um, uh, chimney sweeps came down and she's like it's the master <laughs> that's her so she's also in this movie Leslie Ann Warren John Davidson again Disney tried to push those two together as a Hollywood couple and it just it didn't work they they're cute in this movie they do look like they're a perfect couple Disney made another movie after this one it's called the one and only genuine original family band not an amazing movie, but I have it. I like it. Um, it helped John Davidson's music career, <laughs> and it helped Leslie Ann Warren with her dancing career. So, um, Eddie Hodges and Paul Peterson again, they were in like one scene. It and Joyce Bullifant again. I wish I could remember. That guy's name. He was in Swiss Family Robinson. He played the older brother. And you're probably watching. And he was also in Hawaii Five-0. And he died in 2010. I wish I could remember his name. But yeah, I do remember. Um. So yeah, based off of an actual person. I'm pretty sure you know the, the picture that I'm talking about. Where the people are holding the aiming the guns at the one person and that particular picture the guy um anthony biddle told them to do that and so anyway um the music is by the sherman brother the famous sherman brothers that always worked with walt and um i don't remember how long the original well I'll, I'll find all that and put that in you'll know where to look but so i'll look for fred mcmurray's um filmography and and i'll look for the time difference between the two releases so, um, but yeah, that's Happiest Millionaire. <laughs>